Don't copy me by Jonathan Allen. What a great day for a walk in the fresh air, said little Puffin to himself, taking a deep breath and striding out. But he had company. Small gull, tiny gull, and baby gull were secretly following him and copying everything he did. Little Puffin noticed them out of the corner of his eye. How annoying! Little Puffin turned around suddenly. Are you following me? He said, thinking he'd scare the gull chicks away. Are you following me? Copied Small Gull. Are you following me? Echoed Tiny Gull. Following a me, said Baby Gull, pretending there was someone behind him. The gold chicks weren't at all scared. They seemed to be having a great time. Little Puffin tried again. Go away and stop copying me, he shouted. Go away and stop copying me, copied Small Gull. Go away and stop copying me, echoed Tiny Gull. Go away, stop copy me, laughed Baby Gull. This was a great game. Little Puffin didn't think so. He thought it was a rotten game. But how was he going to make it stop? Little Puffin thought hard. Small Gull, Tiny Gull, Baby Gull copied him. How annoying. Suddenly, Little Puffin took off at a run. This'll lose him, he said to himself. They'll never keep up with me. But Small Gull, Tiny Gull, and Baby Gull kept up with him easily. And what's more, they copied the way he ran. How annoying! Little Puffin stopped. Look, this isn't funny, he said. Look, this isn't funny, copied Small Gull. Look, this isn't funny, echoed Tiny Gull. Look, funny, said Baby Gull. Poor little Puffin. The gold chick's silly game almost had him beaten. Then he had another idea. If he sat very, very still, the gold chicks would have nothing to copy. Then they'd get bored and go away. So little Puffin sat very, very still. Small Gull, Tiny Gull, and Baby Gull sat very, very still, too. Little Puffin sat and sat. Small Gull, Tiny Gull, and Baby Gull sat and sat. But Tiny Gull and Baby Gull started to fidget. Ha ha, thought Little Puffin. This is boring, said Tiny Gull eventually. Boring, said Baby Gull. You're right, said Small Gull. Come on, let's go and do something else. So Small Gull, Tiny Gull, and Baby Gull wandered off. Hooray, said Little Puffin, when he was sure they were gone. I knew it would work. I'm just too smart for those silly little gulls. Now, what am I going to do? Ah, yes, I was good for a nice quiet walk by myself. What a great day for a walk in the fresh air, said Little Puffin to himself, taking a deep breath and striding out. But he had company.